How do I remove calcium deposits from my pool tiles? That problem is called efflorescence, and it's an indication that water is traveling through the concrete, or more likely the, the thin set and grout that hold your tile in place. As this happens, a chemical reaction occurs that uh, forms a crystalline um, like scale uh, on, the, on the tiles themselves, and it's extremely difficult to remove, and it's a recurring problem. In terms of how can you remove it from existing tiles, the best bet is vinegar and elbow grease. There's really not a better solution, and that will help to remove it and uh, somewhat limit it from coming back. Uh, if you were on a pool maintenance schedule, you could perhaps request to have your tiles cleaned with vinegar, you know, once a month, something like that, just to kind of keep it happening as little as possible. In terms of how to prevent this problem from happening to begin with is twofold. One, you need to ensure that water is not able to pass through the concrete in that area. It's very likely that there's a void in the concrete or a crack in the concrete and that's allowing water to travel through, which allows this efflorescence to form. Um, and that would be the, the, the first main reason why you would have that problem. Second to that is when you're setting tile, you need to use a hydrated lime as part of your mix and this will help to limit the, the amount of efflorescence that has the ability to grow. Um, and that is more something that you can do when you're designing and building as opposed to something that you can do once you've already got the problem. Once you've already got the problem, vinegar is pretty much the only solution that you have.